Hello everyone. Your time is valuable, so let's get straight to it. I present to you four quick and easy Premiere Pro effects in four minutes. So I have this video clip of a girl dancing in front of some lights with a quick simple beat. I want to add some camera shake effects to the bass drops of the audio clip. So the first thing you want to do is create an adjustment layer and drag it onto your timeline above the video. Next, you'll want to go to Effects and type in Directional Blur and then click and drag that onto your adjustment layer you just created. Now, under Effects Controls, change the value of Blur Length to 45 and then select the Razor tool. Now, starting from the beginning of the video, move forward one frame at a time by pushing the right arrow key and cut the clip every other second for 5 seconds. Keep the first, third, and fifth frames and delete the rest of the adjustment layer. Now, all you have to do is position the three frames at the start of where you want the camera shake effect to be. So I have this mummy running towards the camera on a subway train and I want to add a nice glitch stutter effect to the clip. Start off by choosing where you want the stutter to start and end, in this case, at the 2 second and 10 second mark. Then create a cut with the razor tool at those intersections. Now hit the letter R to select the Rate Stretch tool and click and drag the segmented clip all the way over to the left. You will now have to rearrange your other clips and zoom way in to see your newly sped up clip. With the Rate Stretch tool still selected, click and drag the clip over 3 frames. Now, you want to go over to Effects, and under Video Effects and Immersive Video, click and drag the VR Digital Glitch onto the sped up clip. Now under Distortions, change the Color Distortion to 100 and Distortion Rate to 0, and then go over to your clip and duplicate it by holding Alt and left clicking and dragging over. Now it's as simple as bringing all your clips together and watch your cool new glitch stutter effect. There is a lot more you can do with this effect by playing around with the settings, so don't be scared to experiment as different video clips will require your own specific approach. The first step in creating your effect is to have a good video clip to add it to. Some sort of impact clip works best, but you can apply this to almost anything. So the first thing I'm going to do is duplicate my clip by holding the Alt key and left clicking the original clip and dragging it above the original. Now I'm going to locate the point of impact in my clip and cut it by holding the Control key and pushing K. Now head over to the Effects panel and type in Extract and drag this on the top right clip you just cut. This will separate our original clip with the point of impact effects. Go over to the effects controls and start modifying the values of black and white input levels until you get very thin white lines on your screen. In my case, these values are 82 and 85, but they will vary depending on your clip. Now, under opacity, change the blend mode to screen and head over to the effects panel and type in VR Glow and drag it onto the same clip we've already been modifying. Go back over to the effects controls and change Glow Radius to 300 and Glow Brightness to 10. Now check off Use Tint Color and under the Tint Color selector, find a nice blue color to use for this effect. You can also add a sound file of a lightning crash and crackle to the video clip at the point of impact for an extra cool effect. The first thing you're going to want to do is head over to your video clip and pick a spot where you want to freeze the frame. In the case of my water droplet video, I'm going to freeze it when the drop is at the peak of its rebound. Now you'll want to right click your video clip and select Insert Frame Hold Segment. Now you'll notice your video has been split up and a freeze segment has been placed in between the other two segments. Now you can click and drag the frozen frame to make it longer or shorter depending on your individual needs. Hope this was helpful. See you guys in the next video.